Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. That's Emery Hunt, the Zardo Playbook, and I'm Tyler Merkovich, and we're bringing you a Fiesta Bowl preview. It's Boise State versus TCU from Glendale, Arizona, University of Phoenix Stadium. Last year, Texas defeated Ohio State in this game 24-21, and last year in the Poinsettia Bowl, these two teams met, and the Horned Frogs edged out the Broncos 17-17. To 16. This is Boise's second appearance in this game. Remember their first one, that historical, magical win over Oklahoma as a big underdog. And this is TCU's first appearance in the Fiesta Bowl. What are your keys to victory for Chris Peterson and the Boise State Broncos? They have to make sure they protect themselves from Jared Hughes, the Jerry Hughes, the outstanding defensive end for TCU. They have to make sure they protect up front because he can ha live in the backfield if he wants to. If they're not safe, they leave him one-on-one. -on -one. That is a wrap for Kellen Moore back there in the pocket because he's going to get slaughtered. Second, they're going to TCU has an aggressive defense. If we put the ball over here, all 11 players are going to fly over there. If we put it over there, all 11 players are going to fly over there. So the way you neutralize the aggressive defense is misdirection. So you're going to have to use a lot of counters, draws, a lot of throwbacks. A lot of, you know, drags across the field, across the opposite end of the field, roll out the opposite way to neutralize that aggressiveness of TCU. Those are the keys to victory for the Broncos. And I can't wait to see this matchup. Cornerback Kyle Wilson of Boise versus wide receiver Antoine Hicks and another fast guy, Jeremy Curley. That's going to be a great matchup. But TCU, they come out at you with one of the most underrated quarterbacks in the nation. That's Andy Dalton. Joe Turner's their leading rusher. And, of course, Defensive oriented under Gary Patterson for a number of years now. They just don't get the national uh, publicity that other teams get. So, what are your keys to victory for the Horned Frogs? Well, defense is going to have to wrap up tackle because these guys at Boise State are slippery. If you miss a tackle, that's a wrap. Their speed to burn, they can fly down a football field in a hurry. So, defense has to wrap up and make sure they sure tackle this week. That's number one. Two, they're going to have to look at. Offensive balance will lead them, will win this game for them. If they can run the football with effectiveness as well as operate off play action, Dalton can throw the ball out the shotgun. That's going to be key because Boise State hasn't faced a team that can provide that offensive balance like the TCU can that, to go along with a tight defense. That's why I'm taking TCU in this matchup because TCU beat these guys last year in the Point Seattle Bowl, and I think that was the blueprint for how to beat Boise State with that balance. This is a better offense this year as opposed to last year. The home falls walk away undefeated. And they dominated in yardage. I mean, it shouldn't have been close that game, even though it was a one-point game. Boise mm -hmm. hung in there. But Jeremy Avery and those running backs are really going to need to step up because Austin Pettis looks like he's doubtful. So that's a big loss for Boise. He's a big, tall, very physical receiver. Titus Young's going to really need to step up. And I'm going to go with TCU here. I think they have too much for Boise in this one. For more, visit footballgameplan.com slash NCAA.